Hi guys, uh, this is Jay. So today, I'm going to make a tutorial video. Uh, by the way, uh, in the end of this video, I'm going to say something about Ring Online. I'm just going to do a little bit of brief review about uh, class balance. Since I think right now Ring Online is good, doing a really, pretty good job. Pretty good job of uh, balancing all the classes. So I'm just going to say why I feel about it and why it is still you know, unbalanced. So let me uh, first of all uh, introduce uh, you the amplification uh, equation first, since the this this video is mainly you know touch on the tutorial of amplification equation that you can use in calculating your amplification uh, attack damage, etc. So uh, as an engineer, I always play like uh, an engineer. Doesn't matter what game I play. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why it did, or why not. But uh, yeah, I think about everything as an engineer, and I solve everything as an engineer. Even when I build my Henrik, I think about engineer engineering. I think about adjectives. I think about problems. I think about solutions. So here we go. Let's just uh, stop all the bullshitting and start explaining how to use this equation. So I come up with this equation while I was taking a break from my work and so uh, first of all I come up with the equation that can actually uh, solve any values uh, of the amplification uh, damage or attack. So here I use uh, Riemann sum to solve uh, the accumulation of damage that is produced by the amplification. So essentially, you will have a initial attack damage, which is a D, and then you will have a accumulate accumulating turn that is produced by the amplification skill, which is uh, the well the F function uh, revolving uh, around the volume of alpha respect to the solar mass of the sigma, and the solar mass of sigma is essentially this rectangle. The volume of alpha is pretty much defined as the width times length times height. Essentially, it is delta alpha equals to delta s times delta d times delta n. So what are these values mean? Delta d means your individual attack, your individual damage deal on one person, one single target. Delta s is your individual attack that is uh, amplified or even reduced by the percentage of the amplification skill. N is just the total target that you hit that will uh, help you to uh, amplify your damage. So your damage actually got reduced by the amplification attack for each target and then by, by doing that uh, you're actually accumulating your damage by you know, increased by the target, the number of target that you hit. So this uh, rectangle uh, sigma actually uh, accumulates and calculates your total damage output on a single target. So uh, where does this theory come from? It's pretty much from Riemannson. So you pretty much divide by each length individually um, by you know infinite units, and then you accumulate each unit, it, uh, each uh, indefinite unit uh, together, and then in by after doing that, by doing so, you actually find a sum of a uh, of a value that uh, pretty much is a total damage uh, amplified to uh, to a target. So essentially, you can write the uh, accumulation turn, uh, which is a F, uh, respect to delta alpha, uh, in respect of uh, the solid mass of sigma into a standardized x, y, z coordinate where I write uh, f function of x, y, and z and then you can define your m value which is your target numbers and then uh, also uh, set your limit for your uh, for your amplification as a value of s in percentage in the decimal uh, number and then you uh, you pretty much need to uh, input uh, the single target damage in order to uh, solve this uh, accumulating turn. So let's go into a little more theory part before we actually go into the fun math part. So the definition of n, pretty much the definition of n is only accounting for all the 
all the uh, accumulation terms. So n equals to nf minus ni, here I have n naught as my ni. Uh, the limitation of it is uh, 0 to 7. Why? Because you cannot count the first target that you hit with your damage because the accumulation term doesn't account for the first target you hit. Uh, it doesn't get reduced by the amplification percentage. It's the later target that you hit then got reduced by the amplification percentage but it got amplified by the number of targets that you hit. A little bit confusing, it's okay. After you see the math, everything will probably, hopefully, will solve your problems. So here, uh, if you want to use a uh, calculus to solve uh, this, uh, this amplification term, you can define your n value, n initial and n final. Essentially, uh, it can go from 0 to 7, or 1 to 8. It really depends on uh, what you define n naught as. If you define n naught as 0, then your maximum turn is 7. If you define your n naught as 1, you know, you start at point 1, then your uh, your maximum turn is at 8. Essentially, uh, the definition of n is the actual target you hit, minus 1 is the input value of the n. Okay, so let me say that again so you don't get confused. So the actual target number you hit minus 1 is the n number that you put into the calculation. So for example, if you have 8 targets, then the number that you actually need to put into the equation is actually 7 because uh, the actual number 8 minus 1 is a, is, a is a calculation n, so that's 7. So 8 minus 1 is 7, that's essentially the, the calculation term n, n value. But if you use a you use a inter integration form to solve this problem, it doesn't really matter if you define a, a point and then the end point. If you define at your know, 100 and end at uh, 107, it doesn't really matter. But it just for the people that I actually want to use a simplification equation later on, then you need to understand this: uh, the maximum n can go to is seven. All right. So uh, let's get that clarified. So. Here uh, in this diagram, we assume that uh, D is the same as D1 and D2 and D3. It doesn't change. The damage of each amplification doesn't change besides the amplification percentage. So let me just uh, conclude what I just said. Uh, the most important thing is that since the accumulation part of the equation, uh, this part or this part, this part actually, uh, doesn't, doesn't account for the first target damage that you hit, so we cannot count n naught into the calcu into the calculation n turn. All right. So uh, since the accumulation part of the equation does not include the first target d on, on n naught, so that's why we didn't count. That's why the max maximum n for inputting into the equation has to be seven, not eight. So that's. Go into the math, so let's just you know get uh, into the fun part of it. So after I explain the theory, we can then substitute the accumulation term into a standardized uh, triple integral in order for us to solve the equation. So here you said uh, you, you you see that we actually you know substitute this part that we actually prove to the standardized equation here. Substitute this to here. So you see that? So now we standardize the equation, we can solve it much more easy, much more easy. Well, not that easy, but still easier. So now that's just dump, just that's just dumping the numbers. I say my Henrik actually damaged you know fourteen thousand on a single target on a, on a person, and the perfection uh, damage is actually reduced by you know uh, by the percentage of eighty percent. All right. And I set my initial n i as zero, n f as a seven. You can say n not n i equals one, n f equals eight. The the answer is still going to be the same. And then uh, let's just plug into the equation. Uh, so we have uh, f the function of x, y, and z, and then we have uh, fourteen thousand. That is our d, and then plus the accumulation term, which we just plug in a number for limits. All right, zero to seven, zero to point eight, zero to fourteen thousand. Why not? Then we calculate this triple integral first. 
So we calculate from inside out. Since there's no x value inside the, the dx integration, so we simply plug in, you know, 0 to x and then 7 to x. 7 minus 0, you essentially get 7 still. And then you do a second part, which uh, is the integration respect to y. Uh, you plug in, you, you put in the 7 and then uh, you do integration since there's no y value so similarly you just have a y and then you have point A which you just plug into the y and then you have a, you have a 0 you plug into the y so 7 times point A minus 7 times 0 this turn goes to 0 anyway then you end up with a 5.6 you are not done yet because you have an integration of dz which is a, which is the last, last integration part of this accumulation turn so you just plug into your damage uh, so uh, here uh, similarly as before you don't have a z value in here you don't have a function of z is essentially one but we just uh, as a as an engineer or as a mathematician we just simplify and not writing one because that's just silly uh, so we have 5.6 and then we have I we we do an integrative or you know integrate it uh, we got a z and then we just plug in 14,000 to z 0 to z this turn essentially goes to zero uh, 5.6 times 14,000 we get this number 78400 However, you're not done because this part only accounts for the accumulation turn. So now we just need to plug into the to the general equation, which is this standardized equation, uh, which we plug in d value here fourteen thousand. We plug in uh, seven eight four zero zero for this accumulation turn. We solve right here. Uh, so essentially, we get nine two four zero zero. That's after that's after amplification. That's my damage on a single target nine two four zero zero. So that's pretty OP. That's my maximum if I because that's fourteen thousand. That's the maximum I see when I hit uh, certain people. Of course, sometimes it goes fifteen thousand, but I, I only see it once I think. But that's my maximum damage on on people. Now let's uh, let's solve it by using variables. Variable is spelling wrong. But uh, you know what? It's okay. Who cares about you know spelling? We care about math, right? So for the sake of uh, simplification, we want to reduce as much variable as we could, and then we also want to uh, simplify the equation since we are engineers. We like to you know simplify everything uh, to make everything easier for us and for you. Uh, so for for so we here we said uh, n i equals to zero, n f equals to n. Then we just uh, leave every variable into the calculations. Uh, essentially, uh, similarly as before, when we do deal with numbers, uh, we just plug in n to x and then zero to x, and then we got n, and then do another integration respect to y. We have n still there because think about that n is actually just an integer or a number. It's not actually a variable because we are not respect. We are not integrating respect to d n. We are respecting to d y. You, do, you gotta watch out for that. So once you integrate it, you get y and y, and then you plug in s into y zero into y, you get n s minus n times zero. This turn goes to zero. In the end, you get n s. We're not done yet because we have dz, which is a triple integral. Remember, so uh, you have n s, which is a number, and then uh, integrate respect to dz uh, from zero to d, and then uh, d is your damage, of course. Then you get a z because there's no variable like before, and then you plug in d into z, 0 to z, and then you get uh, d and s minus 0. This turn goes 0. So essentially, the accumulation turn is d and s. So that's very simple. And we just plug into the general equation d and s. Since uh, remember uh, this part, this is the general equation. This part is a DNS. We just solve it by using variables to solve it, and then uh, so we just simply plug into that D plus DNS. But we're not done yet because we want to simplify even furthermore. So uh, F respect to X, Y, and Z. We don't have X, Y, and Z anymore. So we can just simply say it's F out function of output damage that you deal on a single target equal to by using the rule of factorial we factor out the d and so d times one plus an s is actually our general form value so for those who doesn't take calculus who never learn calculus who are not engineers or mathematicians uh, this is probably the equation that you want to use and um, but keep in mind what i said before the maximum n value you can use for the equation is seven all right is seven and the actual target you hit that n number that actual n number is actually you calculate n number plus one all right seven plus one that's eight that's the maximum you can hit 
I can do another derivation, another theory on this, but I don't think you guys want to watch it. And then for the God, God's sake of time, uh, I don't think you know uh, we have enough time for you know another seven pages of theories. So let's just jump into the example. Uh, so here we solve the general equation form. That's much easier, right? Power of engineers. So uh, so we have we solve f function of out output on a single target. Then we plug in the same equation as we did for the previous examples. Damage is fourteen thousand on a single target. Uh, the amplification percentage is eighty percent in a decimal place is uh, 0.8 and then here we set the n number equals 7 as a maximum and remember here I make a note uh, the target, the actual target n number minus 1 is your calculate is your calculation and so it's different and remember that it's a little bit confusing but you know um, I want to reduce as much variables as, as I could I couldn't call, I could I could call it omega but you know then everybody just get confused with all the variables so here you just need to remember the actual target the real n Minus one is the n number that we put into the calculation. So, for example, eight targets means that when you put into a calculation, you need to minus one of number eight. And that's seven. Then we just need to plug in some equation. Uh, so we just need to plug in some number into our generalized equation. Uh, this function do some substitution. So uh, fourteen thousand times one plus 7 times 0.8 is essentially the same answer as what we got before when we just solve it directly through the triple integral equation so you see here is so many steps but uh, here after we simplify it it's only one step so that helps so uh, you see uh, you just need to watch out for the n number I, I know it's kind of tricky but you know uh, that's how it is that's the definition of uh, the calculation n other applications so for example if I want to calculate how to cure people with 9000 HP for example please or you know uh, poop desperado whoever that is you know that we want to kill we simply need to calculate the uh, output uh, damage that we deal on this person so we just set the HP equal to the damage output uh, so here in this case that we put uh, 9000 as our damage output assume that they have 9000 HP so everything else is the same as previous you know the maximum number n equals 7 uh, the amplification is 80% so what's the minimum damage that we need to deal on him in order to amplify to kill him then we just use the generalized equation that we solved before we use a regular you know a simple algebra we divide both by both side by n plus n s and then essentially we isolate the d and then we we got this equation and then we just do a substitution of you know f of r equals 9000 well, 1 plus n equals n equals 7 s equals 0 0.8 so then you get your d and then d is essentially around you know 13 1300 1363 ish so let's just uh, do a back substitution to check our solutions right so uh, we have our generalized equation you have your answer here as a d and then you just calculate you just plug in and chug and then you get uh, fr equals to 9000 another example is that well I know all the values how about if I want to know how many targets I want to, I need to hit in order to kill a person so here you just need to calculate the, the, the n number so what's the actual n number that you need to hit not to calculate n got to watch out for that I, I got to say it again in order for you guys to get not confused so what's the actual target n that you need to hit in order to kill a person so let's assume that we have a new damage like a gunner that does you know, only 2000 damage with an with a amplification of 40% and then however he is, uh, his, he is fighting a, a weaker person that has only 6000 HP so he only need to put a 6000 damage output in order to kill this person so what's the minimum, uh, minimum number of target the actual target he needs to hit so here we have a generalized equation right here and we just do a simple algebra again we divide both side by d and then we isolate this equation we minus both side by minus one and we get, we isolate n s we divide by both side by s we essentially can solve n then we isolate n we just substitute all the given value where f r is 6000 right here uh, d is 2000 minus one one is there and then s is just 40 percent 0.4 
then we got our n value, the calculation n is 5. However, uh, watch out, because remember the target, the actual target n minus 1 is the calculate n. So here you have to use uh, the, this, 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 this function uh, by plugging n to the calculate n here. Then n equals to 5. And then 5 plus 1, that's 6. That's your target n. So you need to hit 6 targets in order to kill a person with amplification. So then we just lastly always check your answer. Uh, uh, what's the f out? So uh, f out is this generalized equation. You plug in, <coughs> excuse me, you plug in the calculator a number. And then you calculate f out essentially is six thousand, so that 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 is the same as the given value, which which actually matches. So that's uh, another example that you can use for this uh, calculation. So why do I simplify this first? First of all, when I train my fellow engineer, because I am a project manager at this company, when I train my engineers, I always said, hey, when you calculate something, you always want to leave it in a variable form. Although I spell variable wrong, I'm sorry about that. But you know the idea, so you want to reduce uh, the equation as much as possible and uh, try to solve everything in a variable. So that way, it's, uh, you, you never know, you might you know end up with something easy as this. You can, you can simply plug in char, you know, arrange it with algebra and you can pretty much solve everything. So that's that's about that. And then, and then, uh, so let me talk about just uh, the balance of class. Uh, pretty much why I made this video because uh, th I think this is the whole reason why I am still playing this game because this amplification actually make every class balance. Because uh, PK, you can use uh, every almost every class has amplification skills, and every class when they use amplification skills, they can kill almost everybody uh, with the right uh, calculation, pretty much from this equation. Uh, if you do a, do the number crunch, and then uh, you know what how many target you need here, you know what uh, what damage you need to do, then killing a person shouldn't be that much of a problem. So that make PK so balanced right now. Everybody can kill almost everybody. So uh, let me talk about Terra and Sea War. Why is it not so balanced? Well, you guys obviously know that Extreme got buffed so well. It got so many stun lock. Uh, you, the stun lock doesn't just stun you. It actually pot lock you. So you, you you pretty much can only stand there and just die in Sea War and in in the in the Terra. Uh, PK is is balanced because PTP actually cancel cancel all the all the padlock, so that's why it's so balanced. And then everybody can kill everybody. Like I say, if you do some calculation and if you know how to use amplification, and also amplification uh, skill, I I'm I'm not going to show you how to do it because it's like a it really gets, uh, exclusive. I actually made a tutorial video, but I don't show it to you know outside of my guild because you know it's just not fair if you don't join my guild and I teach you everything. So this is like an add-on to that uh, video. So if you really want to learn it, you can you know ask me directly in game, uh, or you can just simply join Renegades and just you know fight for see a few times, and then you know we become friends, and I can share it with you. But pretty much Terra is not balanced because you got Extreme got so many stuns, Boiler got so many stuns, and you got Tai Chi too. It reflects your damage. So those two essentially uh, make the game not balanced, the sea war and the terror is not balanced and uh, brawler has you know a lot of I, I believe stun as well I haven't seen that much stun but extreme is super super unbalanced in sea war and it, in, in terror because of all the stun lock it doesn't not only pot lock you, pot lock is okay you know there's a way to counter it but it stun you so you can only stand there and get killed it is just annoying, pretty much annoying so that's why I don't Terra and Sea War that much because I just think that is super not balanced. Maybe it's just me. Maybe some people think that way. But most of the you know top players, I think they all prefer PK right now. The trend. So uh, so yeah. Uh, I think uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And I don't want to say too much about it. You know, or else hater will hate. Uh, yeah, that's it. If you have any question. Leave on the comment below, and I'm going to put this into Google Drive so you guys can look at it. You know, if you have any question, just ask me in game or shoot me a message. 
I will try to answer yeah as soon as possible. If you are my friend, of course. Uh, so yeah, Renegade is number one, uh, Taiwan number one, and I always play like an engineer. I hope you enjoy the game. Uh, good job, Ren GS, for making all the PK all balance. I hope you don't do anything to assassin, cause I love assassin the way it is right now. Please, please, please don't redo it. Please do not redo the assassin. Alright, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.